Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I wanted to redo my speed and animation test for El Capitan as we are in beta 6 and there have been some improvements as well as some bugs that have kind of come and go. Uh, so just throwing this out here, uh, this is beta 6, it is not the final GM build so this isn't what people will be receiving in the fall. Uh, you might see some glitches or some failures, it just it happens. So, uh, just besides that, you can kind of get an example. This is a mid-2012 MacBook Pro. Uh, it has a 2.9 uh, Intel i7. I got 8 gigs of RAM in it, and I have the Intel HD 4000 graphics card. For some reason, yes, it does show I have um, 1.5 gigs of uh, video RAM, but I don't know if that's a bug or what. Anyways, I kind of want to just jump through this and show you guys um, the OS and how the animations are um, holding up. So the first thing was was uh, reset or full screening. So when we're moving around an application here, uh, to resize it now, you or to resize to full screen, you just drag and keep dragging into the top here. And as you can see, that animation. So drag again. Sometimes it gets stuck. Drag again. Yeah. Now to drop one, you can just slide here to create one or you can do the split screen mode so I'll also show the split screen mode and how that handles so we just have another finder window here again you can just drag up into the top you can see the animations in and out are actually pl are pretty smooth so again dragging back up doesn't want to go dragging back up now if I wanted to put something in split view you can just drop it on so we drag up we can drop it and then this is called the split screen mode, so this is a double finder. Nice glitch. Anyways, you can resize each window to kind of fit your needs and likings. If you're doing file transfers back and forth, this could be very handy. As well as you can return them to their main window. Now, there's also a quicker way to do this. Uh, if you just go up and we just pull this guy back. If you wanted to... Um, create two windows and you have a bunch of windows open like I do this big mess here you can basically go up click and hold and you'll get this animation where you can see it outlines which side of the screen and then you'll get a choice of other running applications these are the two that are compatible and then these ones won't be available in the full screen mode so I can choose again the finder back and forth which created a separate page for me there so a little bit of a bar glitch up top here but all in general um, it seems to be pretty smooth uh, back and forth and going through with the desktop uh, full screen mode so it just pops open you know you can create more and more we can drag more on top some of them haven't been updated. Sometimes I'm able to do whatever I want. It's really weird. Now, this was kind of cool. You're actually able to, let's see if I can do this. You can drag, drop both of these down, and then it gives you this. And then you can just put it back up and move it around. So, if I, here we go. And get it to stick. And show you guys, when it does want to work, you're able to drop it in. Yeah, that one won't work and you can drag them back and forth so you can actually switch them around if I can create one here, here we go now if I wanted to drag this one out no, it's not going to let me know anyways, there's still some bugs but all in all you guys have watched me kind of fumble around here it is um, working pretty good besides the few UI glitches so I'm excited for this build release I think that it's going to be a great release for the Mac platform even though there's not a lot to see on top besides this nice beautiful wallpaper here um, you know there won't be much else uh, new coming besides all the back-end features so uh, yeah there you go guys thanks for watching rate comment and subscribe to the channel to see more El Capitan videos as we get closer to the launch uh, for maybe stability and stuff like that too and yeah we'll see you again next time cheers